Alright, before I start this video, I just want to let you guys know that I've stopped monetizing my channel. Not because they're removing monetization from anything, it's just because I found it more of a pain in the ass. I don't know if they're going to put any ads on these things here, or if you're going to be lucky enough not to get any. I don't know how they go about screwing us over with their own ways of making money, but... I'm not going to deal with that whole thing anymore. I don't want any... I'm not going to set up any Patreon accounts and that like that, so don't worry about me asking for money from anybody. I do work full-time, so... Uh, even during this bullshit with the COVID. Crap. So I'm not worried about money. It just that's why my videos take so long to make, because I usually have other things to do with my time. And I get this done on my spare time. Anyways, so just to let you know that now none of my videos on my channel are monetized anymore. And uh, hopefully that gets rid of all the ads on them. I don't know if that will actually do anything, but just letting you know that I'm not making any money off of ads. So anyone who hasn't been using an ad blocker, uh, either use one or don't worry about it. Hopefully there won't be any ads on here anymore. Anyways, on to the video. All right. So I'm going to make this as quick as possible because I really don't have that much information on it. But what I have here is, um, as you've probably seen from the thumbnail, a baby giant gas pistol or gas gun. This one here I got is in very nice condition, so... It came with its box here with the matching number with a warning tag that fits into the barrel. Once again, with a matching number on it. And if I could get it out here. A set of instructions for it. And, once again, same matching number on the set of instructions. So, either this was a good condition one nobody ever used, or um, somebody's got all the information on it, managed to print it on paper that, and age that a bit, and um, sell it to me like that. Either way, it is a complete gas gun and in this case they were developed in the 30s by the Lake Erie Chemical Company. They are famous for quite a few different uh, gas guns and uh, they do have the one of the single shot riot type 37 millimeters or which uh, one day I may get a hold of. I missed out on one, but anyways. The instructions are here. I'll show you a full upper image of it after. So what this is, is a 20 gauge gas gun. And I haven't been taking it apart completely yet because I'm worried about damaging it. I don't quite know how it comes apart. So I'll just show you how it works and then I'll show you a shot in it. So basically you just take your 20 gauge gas round and you put it through into here, like any pen guns that you see. You've got the barrel, it's all made out of aluminum or, or a light alloy of some sort. So, and then you would basically just screw it back in. In here, you can see the firing pin Right now it's not protruding because there's a safety on this thing. So to use this, you would just pull it back. Obviously with your right, if you're right-handed, you're better off because for firing it, you're just pushing down with your thumb. And once it's in the cock position like this, you just have to take this ring and turn it. And then you've got a clear opening to, for the firing pin to come through. And as you see, it's actually 
sticking out past the point which sets off your 20 gauge cartridge and sprays what I'm assuming to be probably um, mace or pepper spray or whatever you want to call the actual product that's made with um, the hot peppers or the seeds of the hot peppers I'm gonna assume that it's in powder form or it's one of the tear gas powders that are in powder form and not liquid form just because it comes out of cartridge but I really have no information on that and I can't even begin to pretend so what I did is just made a 20 gauge round for it and put a whole bunch of orange or red uh, chalk in instead of the actual powder and gave it a couple of test fires like that so you will be seeing that next and um, that's basically all I could really talk about this thing here it's an interesting little piece of history one of the things that's a little scary about it is that there are no blocks in here which means if you stuck an actual 20 gauge cartridge in you would be able to actually make it fire which would destroy this thing and probably take off a couple of your fingers while that's at it and if you're unlucky a piece of this will hit you in the face so it's probably a stupid thing to do and I say probably when I mean it actually is a very stupid thing to do and uh, I'll just go over the instructions on it right now just to show you the page if you want to see it properly you could pause it but I'm just gonna do this now and then I'll have a video of it shooting that was a baby gas a baby giant gas projector as I said it's got the serial number on it if you go through it just explains how to load it, how to fire it and the warnings on it So there you go just an interesting little piece of history and a uh, Interesting little toy. I can give you the warning on here too if you really want to read it. Alright, so let's go fire this thing. You can take it. Take any other. Now you have it like that. Pull this back. Locked in the ready position. You take off the safety, and then when you're ready, you slam it over and you fire it. So we'll go and fire it. Out. All right, it's a miserable day here, so it might not show up as well. But what I'm going to try to do is get this on camera for you guys, and all I have to do is swing this over, and it should spray some red chalk or orange chalk at this target. Hopefully I don't damage his toy, but we'll see how that goes. We'll see. Anyways, that's how that works. You can see the uh, the wad I put in there behind it moved pretty quick, so you got some pretty good distance on this thing. And uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed that. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed just seeing that video clip. I could load a few more of those rounds and I could load them properly, but all of it is is a pusher with powder in front of it, which is chalk in this case, and a primer just to set it off. There's no black powder in it. I was thinking of putting some in, but after I fired the first test round, which I don't have a video of, that's the second one that you guys just saw. Uh, I realized that it m is more than enough to launch it to the distance that it has to be at. And uh, really, I'm sure if you put some black powder in there, it may bring the pressures a little bit more on the dangerous side. As I said, I have no idea how the actual 20 gauge cartridges are. I've been trying to find information on them and I've got nothing. So if any of you guys know of it, 
what it looks like. If you've seen section ones, just let me know. Either link it to me or send me an email. Anyways, apart from that, that's all I could really say about this. Hope you enjoyed this video, and um, thanks for watching.